Slop, 104 from Zag Skis. You're rolling. Hi guys, it's Mike from uh, Ski and Bike Mag. Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Zag Slop 104, that's 104 underfoot, and a 182 length. Now, just for comment sake, I'm six feet, six foot, 180 pounds, and I could ski this a little bit longer. Having said that, this is a fun ski. Very fun ski very easy to control um good for kind of everything it's i normally ride something a lot smaller than this it's kind of a unique niche ski for sure very niche um it it is a touring construction kind of a ski with a twin tip profile so if you wanted to get yourself a twin tip backcountry touring park ski this is it uh, in a 182, it skis like a 170. It skis very, very, very short. This is a ski that um, I've been accused by my buddy Dave of being a little heavy when I ski in bumps. Nothing to do with my weight, except it could have something to do with it, but anyways. Um, but the idea is, I'm talking about a ski that's, that's, that's very light, makes you feel light underfoot. You really don't feel ponderous at all. It's the opposite. It's the opposite of a hard charging ski. If you like your ski to be finesse, if you like to wiggle around in trees, if you like to wiggle around in bumps, this slap, first of all, doesn't ski like a 104. It skis like a 90. Doesn't ski like a 182. It skis like a 170, 75 maybe. Um, I would say for any category of skier from intermediate up, if you're an expert skier, you'll enjoy it. Uh, it allows you to get on edge very easily. Um, I was quite impressed on how it pivoted, how it was easy to change directions. It's a light, playful, fun ski. Um, a lot of people could benefit being on this ski. I mean, this is the opposite of a Nordica Enforcer 104. How's that? You can't be further away from it, but it's got a similar profile to it. Uh, very light in the construction, in the woods that they use, in the ABS sidewall, the heavy duty, recycled edges that are damp, the sintered base, which is strong, durable, and quick. It's a fun ski. You don't have to sweat it to work it. They're super easy to control. Um, right off my first run with them, I loved them. They're very easy for turns, popping, um, doing little jumps and stuff, very fun. Also have that nice twin tip for going backwards too. Makes it quite easy. You can get on this for some nice quick fall line turns, short, snappy do a few GS turns in there. But I think this really likes the later snow. It's very surfy and uh, lots of fun. And Zag out of Chamonix. These guys know how to do touring skis. These guys know how to do light skis, but it still can handle its own on a groomer. It still ha handle its own in traffic. Surprising ski for what it is. I, uh, yeah, Zag, slap 104.